my name is Diana Lawrence, and before I start, I just want to give a thumbs up to John Cuff sitting over there for running a great campaign for this presidential John is a good man, and I believe he intends to eventually run for public office, and I encourage him in that endeavor. Thank you to my supporters and those who voted for me. As a candidate, I will try to live up to the trust and confidence you placed in me. This is our race, and I'll need your help to win in November. I realize that some people don't know me, so I want to introduce myself now. Why I am running for State Assembly is simple. Because when I was a kid, my parents told me to. They said, I, if I did not like something, I should work to change it. I took that statement to heart and have especially used it to make improvements in myself. Starting when I met my husband Alan in 1998, I started working in the political arena to make changes happen. After meeting Alan, I started engaging with him in the projects and political activities of the Sierra Club, I got, I got the Wisconsin League of Conservation Voters, and the Southern Utah Wilderness, and Wilderness Alliance. All three groups sent us and people like us to visit our state legislators and congressional representatives to talk about the important conservation issues of the day. With SUA, my assignment was in the Capitol in Washington, D.C., and not as a tourist, but meeting with senators and congresspeople. Some of my inspiration to run for political office came from Penny Bernard Shaver. She had run... <laughs> she had run and won a state assembly seat in 2010. We knew Penny from the Sierra Club, and oh, that turned my page. Hang on a second. Windy. And sometime after that, we started going to the meetings for the Outagamie County Democrats. Canvassing for candidates soon followed. A galvanizing event that solidified that I would be running for a political office were the protests against Act 10. My first experience with protesting ever was in Madison during that time. I remember going down very early in the protests with Ann Minster to address concerns with legislators. Alan and I continued to go down several more times, and finally, I just made up my mind that this type of protest should not be necessary, and it was bad governing that led to it. I felt that I was more than capable of being in office and the people who were there making bad decisions. I firmly decided to run in 2011 and signed up and attended a Camp World Student in Seattle. Petty also encouraged me to apply for the Emerge program, which I finished in 2012. I filed my paperwork to run for state assembly, and so did someone else. I lost the primary race that year, but was not deterred. It has always been in the back of my mind. Alan and I attended another Camp Wellstone later on to prepare again for another try. I feel like the political winds are stirring, and this would be my year. I am ready for this campaign, and it means a lot to me. I have only grown stronger in the intervening years. You can either take what life hands you as a gift to be learned, or, or something that will drag you down. I prefer learning in every case. Our work as Democrats, conservationists, and people concerned about democracy itself is not done and is in fact being deconstructed at a rapid rate. My opponent, Dave Murphy, has made decisions to vote against, to vote for legislation that is interested in tearing down good legislation in an effort to make it easier to make corporate profits at the expense of everyone else. The Republican-led legislature cries foul at the federal government for taking away state control, all the while they steal it from local governments in Wisconsin. Our laws in place to protect the environment are in jeopardy. It is on the verge of becoming a free-for-all when it comes to the environment. We need to put an end to what is happening. So why do I think I can win? My life has been a very interesting series of ups and downs. I've walked in the shoes of people who have been homeless, uninsured, with mental health issues, and with financial problems and child custody problems. Much of my career has been with customer service. Being a state representative is about giving customer service to my constituents, 
and I believe I am well suited for this. I also believe there is a block of voters in my rural areas that are ready to vote for someone that doesn't look or act like a regular politician. They are looking. They are looking for someone authentic and concerned about them. I know that people are working hard for many candidates this year, and that is wonderful to see. I also need volunteers and financial investment to make this win happen. My message to voters is that I am a Democrat, and I hope you will vote for all the other good Democrats on the ballot, leaving no boxes blank. I hope you'll help me share that message. And uh, to find out more about me, even more about me, please go to my website, Diana for Assembly. Thanks.